Hey everybody and welcome to the bullshit party! It's raining outside! And in this one we're gonna be taking a closer look at the new podium vehicle, the Neuro Custom. As always we're gonna be starting off with the exterior, then going into the interior, seeing how the car performs, handles, then customizing it in Los Santos Customs, then driving the customized version, and finally giving you a determination if it's worth it or not. And with that let's start with the 360 around the vehicle while I spit some facts your way. And if you think this one looks familiar, that's because it's based on the real world Bugatti Vision Gran Turismo released in 2015. And it should be mentioned that the Nero Custom is a custom vehicle that costs 2 million dollars. And it was released in 2016. And as far as its interactivity, you can open only the doors. But that's definitely not my biggest problem with its exterior. My biggest problem with it is it doesn't have a hydraulic spoiler, just like the real world version. That's why, my personal taste here, I prefer the Bugatti Chiron compared to this. And the question that's probably on your mind is how much we're gonna be able to sell it for when we go to Los Santos Customs. I don't know, we'll find out in a bit, but first, let's check out the interior. And even though the interior doesn't match the Bugatti it's based on, it's quite nice. And I should probably mention here that it can only sit two people, one driver and one imaginary passenger. Delicious. And with that we're off to see what type of drivetrain this vehicle has. And it should be mentioned that this is my first time driving it, but more on that later. For now let's see what type of drivetrain it has and it should come to no surprise that it has an all wheel drive train. And with that, safety first, let's get going to Los Santos Customs to see what we can customize on this car. And on our way there I'm gonna be sharing you my initial thoughts of my first time driving it. Now first of all it should be said that as I said this is my first time driving the custom version of the Nero. And I can't help but feel very disappointed that it doesn't have a hydraulic spoiler. That aside, it feels good. It feels very good. Oh no wait, that's just me because I'm an awesome driver. But no, seriously, it feels incredible even in these weather conditions. And I'm actually very happy that it's raining because I can test the all-wheel drive system. And so far it's working great, almost too great. I know, I know, I can drive. And in case you were about to leave a negative comment, I actually did a video a couple of days ago replying to negative comments that I see on my videos. From what I gather so far the video is kind of okay so you might want to check it out, I'll post it right here in case you want to do so. But anyway back to the Neuro, as you can see it has good acceleration, good top speed, decent handling but horrible brakes, under these conditions. And I know what you're saying, why did you go to Los Santos Customs and not to Benny's? I kind of forgot about Benny's, um, whoops. And here we are finally at Los Santos Customs and I'm sure what you're wondering. Bullsheep, how much does it sell for? I'll tell you viewer, I'm very happy to say that you can sell this vehicle, the podium vehicle for $360,000. And that's only because it's a custom vehicle. So if you're looking to make money in GTA Online, this week winning the podium vehicle might not be a bad way to do so. And if this video gets 100,000 likes by the end of the day, I'll make a follow up video going to Benny's. <laughs> Hey guys, guys, guess what this is? That's right baby, second cup of coffee! I'm sorry ma, I'll keep it down. As I was saying guys, I'm on my second cup of coffee today. And that's why I'll be shouting till the rest of the video! Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Was that? You clicked on the video because it was gonna be informative? Pfft. Yeah, yeah, that and uh, pigs fly. You knew what you were in for when you clicked on a channel called the Bullshit Party. What was that? Making a vid- oh that's right, I am making a video. So, going back to the Neuro Custom, these are all the exhaust options you have. You have one, two, three, you have several. And since I want this vehicle to have kind of a hypercar feel to it, I'm gonna put as much carbon on it as possible. And the next customization option we have are the fenders. Is the fenders? English is hard. Look, you have fender and no fender. There we go, I make English easy. Grill, you have three options, one, two and three. We choose carbon because carbon. <laughs> Could we have two options, carbon and no carbon, we choose carbon. And if you want to participate in bullshit language school, click on the link below. No, no guys, I'm kidding, don't click on the link below unless it's the Patreon link, in which case, go ahead. And as far as the roof's concerned, more carbon, more better. Um, and since we didn't go to Benny's, I really can't criticize the car for not having a lot of customization options. Again, uh, whoops. But bullshit, why don't you just go to Ben? Yeah, that's not how the videos work. But no, no, seriously, it's over there, you can just go- No, no, viewer, just enjoy the video. Let me worry about the content and lack thereof. And uh, let me show on the screen what you're all thinking. Mm-hmm. 
And uh, even with the limited customization, I gotta say, so far, I'm really liking what I'm seeing here. And keep in mind, guys, this is a vehicle released in 2016. Which, now that I say it out loud, probably doesn't matter since it's a custom version of the Nero, so completely disregard what I just said. And it's that part of the video again where we choose the color for this week's podium vehicle. And unlike polls from the week before, and the week before that, and the week before that, and you can see where this one's going, this week we had a normal, straightforward poll. What do you want? Gold or silver? And it should come to no surprise that the majority of you want to see a gold car in this video. Or as Yusuf would say, SOLID GOLD BABY! <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't do impressions. But I am gonna like this. There we go. And uh, <laughs> thank you so much to everybody that voted on the poll. Hopefully you like the result and you like how the vehicle turned out. And if you want to participate in next week's poll, pay attention to what I'm gonna say. First, of course, make sure you subscribe to the channel and all that. But secondly, put in the comments down below the color you want to see on the poll for next week's podium vehicle. And the top 5 colors with the most votes by next Tuesday are gonna be gathered and posted on the poll for you guys to vote on. Kind of a new thing, but let's see what happens. And as far as this vehicle is concerned, I really wanted to see what other rim options we had, but I like these and I can't change the tire design, so let's leave them as they are. Hmm, I wonder if it stopped raining outside. No would have been a sufficient answer, but anyway, here's the vehicle we have and here's how it looks. And I don't want to brag, but I think we did alright here. As I said before, solid gold baby! And in case you're wondering what does the vehicle sound like now... It just sounds meh, it's very je m'appelle. Bye French viewer. But in any case, it's still raining, which gives me a lot of opportunities to see how the vehicle behaves and handles in the same conditions. And it should come to no surprise that the vehicle is still very fun to drive, even if I'm very bad at driving it. Handling's better, acceleration is a little bit better, and the top speed is noticeably better. And I'm very happy to say that the vehicle now has brakes. And even though we didn't go to Benny's, I did check out and saw that there was no hydraulic spoilers for this vehicle. Sad. But all in all, I'm very happy with what we have here. And keep in mind guys, this is a $2 million car. And because it was released in 2016, it's not the fastest vehicle in the game anymore, it's not nowhere near the top. But it's definitely a fun vehicle. But that said, you're even probably gonna be able to win some races with it since it's very competent at what it is. And we're at that part of the video where I should be telling you if it's worth it or not, depending on my personal opinion. And I don't think I'm gonna surprise anybody by saying I think this vehicle is totally worth it. Would I have liked to see a hydraulic spoiler out of it? Yes. Is that a deal breaker for me? Not really. Is it a capable vehicle? Yes. Is it worth 2 million bucks? I would say so. But if you're watching the video in the week it was released, then this is the current Pody vehicle, which basically means that you can get it for free from the Lucky Wheel. And if you've guys seen my videos before, you know that every week we win the Lucky Wheel podium vehicle together, and this one is no exception. So to make a long story short, too late. Regardless if you're paying money for it, or even better getting it for free, in my opinion, this one, totally worth it. Oh, and it can do off-roading as well. And with that, I think it's time to be ending this one. Thank you so much to everybody that watched, hopefully you liked the video. If that's the case, don't forget to like it, share it amongst your friends, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and with all that said and done, I'll catch you all in the next one. What would you know? Found a parking spot.